and thank you for choosing Handbag Angels to watch today on YouTube. Today's video is a comparison video as I'm sure you'll have seen by the title. Um, today we are going to be comparing the lovely YSL Sac Du Jour handbag. Now I'm going to be comparing two sizes. The Nano, which is this one, this is the smallest of the Sac Du Jour sizes. And I also have the Baby here to compare as well. Now this is the next size up from the Nano. Here is a quick side by side. As you can see, the Baby is um, slightly, slightly bigger than the Nano. So yeah, that is what I'm going to be comparing today. I'm going to start with the Nano size. Now the only difference between the two bags is literally the size. Um, other than that, they are more or less identical. So I'll quickly show you what the bag looks like. So here we have this really cute little charm. Inside is a padlock. Now I'm not actually sure what this is for. There's what the padlock looks like. It does just slide out of this little like leather case and then slots back in as well. And then you can fasten that by a press stud. But yeah, I don't actually know what it's for. I don't know what you're meant to lock on it. There is a little key in here as well. But then there's nowhere to lock. Maybe it's just for decoration. I don't know, I might have to look at that on the YSL website and pop it in the text as to what it's actually for. But yeah, that's what the outside looks like in this lovely black leather and on the back it is exactly the same. There are no pockets or anything on the outside. One thing to note is on the sides, um, they're almost like extendable in a way. So you can unpop these little tabs here. They're on the back as well. You just literally unpop them and then the sides do open up a little bit more. The leather is quite stiff. So when you're doing that, you do have to not force it open, but you do have to, you know, it doesn't just slide open like so. And I suppose you would extend the sides like that, perhaps maybe when you're carrying a little bit more in your bag, or you just need to get in and out of it a lot more easier because having these press studs closed does kind of um, restrict the access into the bag a little bit more. The bag also came with a crossbody strap. I will show you what it looks like as a crossbody later on in the video. And then here is what it looks like inside. So there's that key I was talking about. That does pop off a little pop, um, press stud. There's a lot of press studs on this bag. Um, but again, I don't know what it's for. I will try and find out. Um, and inside is literally plain. So there are no pockets or anything. It's just one big main compartment. Like with all of the new bags that we get, obviously we have created handbag organizer for it. So I'll slot that in here and show you what it looks like. Inside it does just have two pockets as standard. There is the organiser inside the bag. This is the colour hot magenta and I think it just looks lovely against the black. Just a really nice like pop of colour to the inside. And it also fits when you have the pop the press studs closed. But for the sake of this video, I'm just going to leave them open so you can see into it a little bit better. Just makes more sense to do that. Now regarding what fits in this handbag. So this is personally my kind of size of bag. Like, I love, I think I prefer this one to the baby but I'm not going to give you my final opinion just yet but um regarding what fits in it i have tried to fit like a long purse inside and it doesn't fit instead of using like a long wallet i am going to use our louis vuitton mini pochette and that just sits in there really nicely i've also brought our key pouch that also fits in there nicely alternatively you can just have a loose bunch of keys i've also got my airpods just because they're always handy to have in your bag aren't they i mean you never know where you're going to need a little bit of music I've then got an iPhone. This is another iPhone 11 Pro, I think, off the top of my head. I think that's what it is. So, so far, that's what I've got inside the Nano. I've also brought a cute little, like, Jo Malone sample size perfume. This is really handy just to have in any bag rather than having, like, a massive perfume bottle. I then also have a Dior lip gloss that also slots in there really nicely. And finally, I am just going to pop this little Body Shop mini hairbrush in. So I have packed this to the brim more or less. I've tried to fit as much in just to show you in case you are considering buying this bag and that is what it looks like. So the AirPods, lip gloss and hairbrush are sitting nice in the pocket. And then in the main compartment, this is my mini pochette, iPhone, key pouch, and there is that mini perfume I was talking about. For me, this is the perfect size. Like this is all I would ever carry, I think, um, if not a little bit less. So yeah, it just really just depends what you carry. You can fit quite a generous amount. Definitely like your essentials as well. A little hand sanitizer would also fit in there. A face mask would easily fall down, which obviously everybody is carrying with them at the moment. So I'm now going to move on to the baby sac du jour. Now, 
this is just a little bit bigger it's the next size up as i've already said it also comes with a crossbody strap like i said i will do like a comparison between the two with the crossbody strap now the only difference apart from the size is inside the baby size is actually two compartments but there is a little hack with this bag so the middle zip compartment is actually removable again um, it attaches by like pop studs which are just on the inside of the bag on like some little tabs but we actually thought that actually takes up so much room by being sat in the middle so again we've created a handbag organizer for it but we've actually made it so that it sits in the bag without this in the middle i'll show you now so i've opened up the popper studs again just so you get a better view of the inside and there is the organizer for this bag now by having it like that doesn't mean you can't then use this um this is the middle zip compartment because this then does slot really nicely behind the liner so as you can see in there i've just popped the zip pocket behind the liner and you still have like a, a zip pocket and the internal space is if anything maximized by having the pouch at the back that's what we think anyway if you want it in the middle and you want two separate compartments then that's just personal preference again i'm going to show you what fits in this bag now this time i can fit my long wallet in i've then also brought my medium kirigami just as like a little makeup bag maybe something like that again i'm going to put an iphone in i've got the key pouch again or a bunch of keys would also be fine lip gloss again airpods i've also got um, a little body shop hand cream pop in the hairbrush in again and my mini jo malone there is the baby sack du jour full to the brim just like i did with the last one then also used the internal pockets more of the organizer so there's the perfume and my key pouch is sat in there lip gloss airpods and then my hand cream is there as well honestly you can fit a lot in this bag and um it's still a good size i wouldn't say it's too big here are the two side by side sorry i'm a bit restricted on space today final opinion i think i personally would go for the babe the nano sorry i keep getting mixed up with baby and nano really cute as a top handle and a crossbody which i will i pop like little clips up showing you what they both look like as a crossbody but i just feel like i don't have the need for the baby because if I don't use my long purse and I just use my card holder, like it's not the end of the world. The colours, I absolutely love the um, the black with the silver. That does conclude the video today. I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope it has given you a bit of an insight as to the differences between the sizes. We'll also link the organisers uh, that we sell in the description. If you've enjoyed this video, it would be lovely if you could subscribe. We also have Instagram, TikTok, Facebook. You can wait to follow us on there as well. And hopefully I will see you in the next video.